Lisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. You know, it means a lot to me. I have a post review for you guys here. I've been holding on to this uh, diamond painting set to film a post review during uh, my fall diamond painting event because I thought this kit would uh, kind of fit that theme. So uh, if you don't recognize these little diamond paintings, these are from Paint Gem. Paint Gem is a licensed diamond painting shop that creates these mini diamond paintings in all sorts of different theme packs. And in the theme pack, there's usually, I think about like 10 to 12 diamond paintings, give or take, there may be more, or maybe less. And they come out with new packs all the time. This one was called Black Magic, I believe. I will pop it on the screen what the set was called. I've also actually uh, ordered their autumn set, which is one of their newer releases. Uh, it's not yet here, but when I do receive it, I will film an unboxing of that. I'm excited to get that one done because that does definitely fit our fall theme. So um, I can't wait to share this with you. So I've just kept everything to the side until I was ready to film. So first off, this container set is what I used for doing these diamond paintings. This is a set I grabbed from Amazon and it has, I believe, 30, yeah, 30 containers for this set. Um, well, I guess I should say it didn't quite work i think we were yeah we were one bag over this is 310 which there was just a lot of 310 in these images uh so we had 31 colors in this uh set uh paint gem also has a similar container set on their website with 30 containers um i do have that but it's kit up with something else uh, i went and grabbed this one from amazon as well i will post a link to this specific one in the comment section Overall, I like this this container thing. I took these diamond paintings to the lake a couple times this summer to do, and it was really nice because it has this little pouch up here so I could tuck all my accessories in here, including some of the diamond paintings, and just zip it up, and off I went. So I did like it. However, I find these containers pretty small. Now, for the paint gem sets, the only uh, color that I had too much of was the 310. So I would pour it in its container and leave the leftovers in the baggie just tucked up there. So that's no big deal if you don't mind doing that. Um, I actually went ahead and ordered a larger container set because I realized that some of these paint gem sets actually have more than 30 colors. And um, this container only has 30. So I did buy a bigger one with uh, larger bottles as well. Uh, the container set that's on the Paint Gem website has these bottles, but half the size, like uh, half the length. So they're even smaller. That's why I decided to go to Amazon and get these ones because um, they hold a little bit more. For uh, this uh, set, I paired this small Add More Zest tray. Add More Zest is a diamond painting accessory company based in the UK. I think they called this size the Zesty tray and it's the smallest of their diamond painting trays. I really like it because it is kind of shaped almost like a funnel down here and I find I make the least amount of mess with this tray. They do line up the diamonds really nicely. Let me just pour some of these guys in here. As you can see, I always keep a little piece of cut up dryer sheet in my containers, no matter if I've kit up in containers or baggies, I just find it helps keep static at bay. I do, I, I, I do love these trays. Now they are, um, the sides here are pretty short compared to some other trays on the market. It did take me a little bit of getting to used to, but it's actually not as bad because I found I'm not bumping my, my, um, placer into the side too much because it's a big ledge, right? So I actually do like these and I've ordered um, one tray in each of their, their sizes. I think they now have three. They have the Zesty, which is the small, um, the Add More Zest tray, which is just, uh, I would consider a regular size. And then they just added, I think they call it the Mega, which is a very large tray. Uh, but yeah, I love these trays. And then when you go to pour your diamonds back, this uh, tip here kind of acts like a funnel. 
just fits right in there like that. And then I kind of just do a little bit of tapping and it empties pretty quickly as well. So uh, I actually have a white tray and I also have a gray tray. Um, when I'm working with light colors, I'll just grab the gray one, just makes it easier for my eyes. So this is what I paired. It fit nicely in here. And then I used this little mini pen. This is the, I think it's the smallest pen that I have. This is from Rolla Works, which is a Canadian small shop on Etsy. They make diamond painting pens as well as some other crafty goods like sewing uh, seam rippers. And I think they also make ballpoint pens as well. And I've put some of my metal tips both of these tips are from Everlasting. I got my bent single placer and this is probably a five placer. Inside this multi-placer, I always use putty and this time I chose uh, the Essential Ad DP. Now I'm probably not saying that right. Please don't laugh at me, my French Canadian friends, but uh, she is a small shop in Canada as well that um, makes scented diamond painting putties. This one is in the scent of Rose. Uh, she has so many scents on her website. Really take a look um, to see everything she has. Again, I will link all these shops in the description box of the video. Uh, to get the putty out of here, it can be tricky. What I actually use is the rounded edge of the tweezers. And I just kind of pry some open. And then you can tear off the amount you want and put it in your multi-placer. So that's how I get it out of this very, very tiny tin. Putty does last quite a long time, so I use that in my multi-placer. And then in the single placer, I always have glue dots. Uh, that's something that I learned early on. A lot of people like glue dots. They just tend to last a really long time, and they hold their sticky well, almost too well. Um, if you do load a pen up with a glue dot and it's way too sticky, uh, what people do is they just dab it on some sort of fabric. So usually your t-shirt or your pant legs. It just takes away some of the sticky, so you can... Uh, diamond paint nicely what else here the paint gem kit they come with their own little labels so I stuck them right on top of here I kind of wish that I put some washi tape down first that's kind of a little hack uh, if you put washi tape down before you put the sticker they actually peel off a lot easier so I'm probably gonna have some trouble peeling these off but like I said, I did buy a bigger, uh, you see, it'll just rip like that. So it'll take a while. I did buy the bigger container. So I'm not sure if I'm really going to use this much anymore, just because it only has 30 colors, right? But let's take a look at the diamond painting. So uh, again, this is called the Black Magic Edition. Uh, I love the paint gem um, quality. Each one comes in, what is this? Probably like a four by six. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the uh, dimensions are. Probably about a four by six. Do I have a measuring tape here? I do. So let's actually measure it. Uh, what are we doing? Inches. So it's four and a half. So almost five. Five by seven. So almost a five by seven uh, canvas here. And then um, they print their design on it. The nice thing that I found with this set is there's not much glue overhanging. I know early on um, there used to be a pretty large glue overhang and that can get uh, annoying if dust and fuzz or pet hair sticks to it. And because this is not just, you know, a rectangle or diamond painting, it's very hard to put washi tape around all of the border. So um, with this one, I can barely see any glue overhanging at all. So I was really happy with that. Um, and then look at the shine of the diamonds. They're just so sparkly, so shiny. A uh, trash wise, there was a fair bit of diamonds with, a, a, you know, tabs was the most often thing I saw. A couple diamonds with holes on the top, but I didn't run out of any colors. In all of the paint gem sets I've done, and I've done quite a few, uh, I've never ran out of a color. So, so they do send you lots to complete it. I just look out for the tabs because, um, diamonds with little tabs on them they're little bits of extra plastic they uh, tend not to fit very nicely on your grid and your spacing will look kind of funny so um, but yeah I like this little haunted house I thought that was nice I love the colors in this one the purple it's a poison bottle I think they do a good job in their spelling to it uh, for the most part you can make out what the words say I just love those colors the green and the purple 
So one thing I kind of wish maybe they will start doing sometimes is adding some special diamonds. I don't know if that's feasible to them and I know that it would be fairly easy for me to just add my own special diamonds but for those of us that aren't that great at blinging things out it would be cool if they started offering some uh, enhancements or even kind of like an add-on pack maybe um, but for this set I chose not to enhance anything if I were to I might have done his eyes in the moon maybe the spelling there but I think it came out nicely the way it is also because these images are very small um, they look really good the way they chart them and I'd be a little worried to add in extra bling uh, and making it look good but like for example this one these little um red spots on the card or symbols and these little flowers or stars those would look good blinged up and then the name too i i like how they do like an ombre effect i think they turn out really nice this one is a book of spells this one is harder to read in person but you can really read it nicely through the camera i'm noticing I think like look at the blending effect of the candle. I think they do do an amazing job for such a small diamond painting. And we got the hourglass, which you can put it either way. Which way? I kind of like it this way. I don't know. That is the way it's supposed to go because they have their number down here. And a witch, of course. This one is really pretty, some crystals and some roses. In my bedroom, I actually have some crystals on like a little display shelf. And I also have a bookshelf. I might actually put this on there for fun. Um, put it in a frame and put it on the shelf. I might do that. I'm going to put that one off to the side. We've got a little owl here. You could bling up the uh, flame and the lantern. That would look cool. A little uh, witch's brew pot. This one is really neat. I liked how this one turned out. I think it looks really cool the way it's charted. And, and, and again, look at that sparkle. Like the quality of the resin bits are just amazing. And the last one is one of those little spirit boards. Yeah, quite a few of these images I really like. I might put them up for, for the next month or two. I have like a bookshelf that doesn't have much on it. Maybe I'll put a couple framed there. But um, really, I really like having these paint gem sets. I tend to work on them either if we're going somewhere. So during the summer, we go to the lake a couple times uh, over the course of the summer. And I like taking these sets. It's just very easy to manage. And I take a little clipboard and I can diamond paint uh, well, enjoying uh, the outdoors. And um, I've also taken these sets uh, when I have surgery. So I've had quite a few surgeries if you've been around a while. And um, each time I've taken some diamond paintings and it makes the time fly by so fast. And again, it takes up a small amount of space. Everything fit into this container thing and uh, it's easy to put away and, and bring out. Um, I also like working on these sets at night. So when I, I usually work on a big diamond painting during the day. And then at night, if I want to do a little bit of crafting, I will pull out um, a paint gem set. It's just, I don't need as much light. I have a little light pad and I can quickly knock out one or two of these mini canvases and get some diamond painting time in. So I really enjoy them. I have a whole bunch of them actually stacked up, waiting to be kit up and worked on. And as I said, I have purchased a few that have not yet arrived. I will be doing an unboxing of the Halloween or autumn. I think it's called an autumn set. When it arrives, I will unbox that and kit it up. And um, I also have a couple, they come out with new kits all the time. And I'm trying to remember, I think in that order, I also ordered the door set. And I also ordered the Christmas set because Christmas is coming and I thought that would be a good one to have on hand to work on during the holiday season too. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a post review. Let me know down below if you've ever worked on a paint gem or um, if you may go order now. They are great quality and for Canadians at least the shipping is free. Fingers crossed I'm remembering that correctly. I'm pretty sure shipping is free. They now ship from the U.S. instead of China. So uh, shipping uh, period is less as well. So they arrive fairly quickly, I think. 
And I, d I haven't had to pay anything extra on arrival. So it appears like all the duties or customs or whatever is all factored into the price. So I always like uh, when that is the case. So definitely let me know which sets catch your eye. They have so many on this site. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I thought I would sneak in a little um, clip here of a reminder that our week three progress post goes live today, Friday morning in Licensed DP Fans Canada. That's a Facebook group where the majority of the event kind of is handled. So if you haven't joined that, make sure you do. It's not too late to actually join the event. There is a start post and a start form you need to fill out. All the information is in the group, but for week three, as a reminder, we're gonna have a special diamond prize pack that was donated with other, along with some other goodies uh, from a couple of our group members. And then I've put together a prize pack myself with a few donated trays and then some goodies that I've added. Uh, we have a tray, one of the purple trays from Yellow Dog Designs to give away. We have one of the Leah Sencilla DP uh, putty packs. So she's gonna send two packs of putty to a lucky winner. We've got another $15 gift card to DP with sparklers. We've got a pen from Creations Morin, and I believe she's pairing some putty with that. And we also have a $50 gift card to Diamond Art Club. So thank you to everybody who's donated for prizes this week and sponsors who have also stepped up to provide prizes this week. Uh, I couldn't do it without y'all. So um, yeah, this is our week three. So don't forget that that progress post is up from Friday morning until Sunday midnight Pacific time. That's my time zone. You can Google your time zone. Basically, when I wake up Monday morning and I uh, sit down with my coffee, I close that post and I start choosing the winner. So make sure you do head over to that progress post before Sunday at midnight. Until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.